Hello guys, what is up? My name is Geeky and welcome to my first episode of my Minecraft survival series. And today we're just mm, we're just gonna be exploring and we got a pretty lucky spawn here. Uh we spawned right next to a village. So that's gonna be a pretty good start. Um a couple wildlife around, cows, pigs, sheep. It's gonna be pretty cool. Gonna get a bed, food, right off the bat, and there's a blacksmith, which I hope there's some pretty cool, pretty cool and useful armor and a cool, couple cool things, I hope. So yeah, you guys are wondering why all my, my other video was gone, um, my other survival series. And the reason why is that because, um... Because the quality of those vid that that survival let's play wasn't that really good. Like the microphone was kind of cutting off a bit, and and the quality wasn't the quality of the mic was kind of like loud. It gets too noisy. There's a couple background noises too. So since I found a new way to found a new way to like make my my voice sound a little better and I kind of adjusted the Elgato quality so yeah I hope this will like will work a little better and has better more has a better quality and the other reason why I wanted to start a new survival let's play is because the other world that I had was made before the TU14 update was released a day before it was released so I didn't get any other things that they had like nether quartz um i didn't get a desert temple nor a jungle temple so yeah i did a i did a quite a bit of exploring on this map um if you guys want to know it's uh geeky geeky's world i'll link uh i'll link the seed in the description if you guys want to play along with play along with me in the seed um so yeah I'm just gonna grab a bit of food here because food is pretty pretty scarce in the beginning because I'm gonna do a lot of exploring um while I was exploring this map um, I wasn't looking through all the chest but I memorized some of this stuff and there was some what I know about this map is that there is a lot of jungle and that's a good thing because if you guys know, if you guys watched my previous survival let's play that that I purposely deleted, um, I had a house, a jungle house, and a and a jungle nether hub, and they both look really nice. But I had to say goodbye to those because, the well, I had yeah, I had to because the world stinks and the qual the video quality stinks. So start fresh, brand new. And those are really easy to build anyways. I'll take like 30 minutes to build. But the only long part of the process is to um, dig out the area and get all the resources for it. Um, so yeah, I've been... I'm getting a lot of food. Along with this bread. I should probably make like a, um, a cow farm already so I can get some leather hides. So I can get, so I can start getting some some item frames or some books and all that. Um, yeah, probably at nighttime I might when all the villagers run inside their homes I might block off the area because oh yeah I might block off the area because um I really don't want them to die because because I need them for villager trading. Since I was exploring this map, um, there was another village here pretty far away. I can't memorize where it's at, but I, I just know that there's two village, villages here. Um, the reason why I decided to explore before I just randomly pick a seed is because um, I chose the previous survival let's play I had. I chose a seed out of random, and that's not a good idea if you're planning to, if you're planning to do a survival series because... You might get a bad seed, which I had 
but since I switched over, I guess it's gonna do pretty good. Huh. The downfall of losing that world is because when I was um mining, I found a dungeon, right? Um, I found three enchanted books in there. I, f I think I found um a feather falling feather falling two book um this this other book this other enchantment i forgot i forgot what it was called i think it was projectile protection i really don't know i can't remember and the third one i had was a silk touch one pick enchantment book i was like oh my god i was flipping out that i had that but I had to say goodbye to it, but I hope that I'm able to f be this luck that lucky in this world, or maybe even better, like find the Feather Falling Four book or something like that. I mean, getting a Silk Touch One book is pretty cool too. <clears throat> I think in a TU14 update that they had, um, I think Silk Touch picks works on Ice Blocks now, and. I think when I read um, on the list that they gave out the day before the release um, that uh, I think ice can melt in another. I don't know. I, I think I probably read that wrong. I really don't know if it can, but if it does, then shucks. Because I was going to use ice, ice blocks and some soul sand for transportation. But if if it if the water actually melts in another, then I guess I'll just use a railroad track. <laughs> Only if they added horses, that would have been so much better. No coal. Dang. All right. Huh. So the quality of my voice might sound a little better. Some noises in the background won't be showing up any- What the heck? Well, some of the sounds in the background won't be showing- Showing or like being really loud or obnoxious and all that. So, yeah. Voice is gonna sound really different because I watched a video or a tutorial on how to make your audacity um editing a little better and yeah i worked out i did a few test runs and i really sound different so yeah let me just get some coal real quick get some stone tools going oh yeah i'm still gonna keep my videos under 20 minutes because the rendering of it I'm still having problems with the rendering. It takes forever for it to rend. And all, and I always have to leave my computer on running overnight so I can just upload a video to YouTube so you guys can be entertained, you know? I gotta keep you guys happy. Can't, I can't keep you guys bored even though there's barely any people watching except for my two friends, DRAC and Drone. Those guys are those guys are my very close friends i've been playing them f i've been playing with them for like a very long time they also upload videos on youtube um i'll link their i'll link their youtubes in the description below they're pretty underrated too they're pretty funny people they have a lot of skill and potential and all that so i get you guys will enjoy them if you guys enjoy me Um, wait, wait a minute. Is this carrots? Oh, it's potatoes. It's the first time I've ever seen potatoes. Nice. Potatoes. Oh, uh, I only... I wish I had carrots, too. Does the other village have carrots? I, I never looked at the crops because I never... I never got used to seeing carrots and potatoes in the... In the planting areas. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, let me see. Alright. <clears throat> I have tons of food right now. 
Huh. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm gonna stay in here. It's about to be nighttime, and I really don't want to stay out. I only have a chess piece. So, crafting table. Gotta make a bed and a furnace. Along with a chest to hold all my items. I'm not gonna use wood because I might get coal soon. Chest right there. Potato. Pork chop. Wheat. Apple sapling and leather. Seeds and spruce wood. I might, I'm gonna throw away that wooden pickaxe because it's not gonna be really useful to me. Hey there, buddy. You be my roommate for now. Okay, um, let me see. Let me just create some tools real quick and I'm gonna go down the hall that I found. Let's see if I can get lucky trying to find some coal and a couple iron. <clears throat> so I can make some armor pieces and a couple tools, which will be pretty useful. Uh, I should keep that iron, iron, I'm gonna keep that iron sword left behind in my chest because the, the iron sword right now, I'm kind of treating it like a diamond sword since it started. I'm gonna throw away this pickaxe because it's useless. Um, let's put it back in the chest. I'm gonna get some food as well. Food, food, food. I'm um, gonna get some bread. I don't have coal yet to, to cook all that beef and pork chop, you know? Uh, so, yeah, um, just leave a comment um, if you guys want any special guests. I won't be v inviting um, random people that just comment on this video. Like, in my last um, survival, Let's play. I offered the same um yeah I offered the same request, and I just been getting a lot of random people asking me, guys. I would let you guys join, but I still need to get I still need to get to know you more. Oh, that's a librarian. I need that guy. Well, I'll probably try and get him out of there. Cause that guy's gonna be pretty useful cause he trades paper for emeralds and that's what I'm gonna need. That's gonna be my guy that it's gonna be that's where I'm gonna be getting all my emerald out of that that that's where I'm gonna be getting all my emeralds from. Huh so yeah, getting all this coal. See I don't wanna fall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, two villagers stuck. Gonna make some torches and light up this area because I think I saw some iron. Yep, iron. Gotta mine that out. One. Wow, okay. And zombie. Hello. Iron and coal. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> Let me just mine out some of this coal and this video is coming to an end. Come here coal, come to me. I need levels and to cook my food. Alright. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my first episode of my Minecraft survival series and I hope to see you guys in the next episode, so this is Kiki, and see you guys later, bye bye.